What's up everybody? How's it going? Hands. Hands in the face. Can you guys hear me okay? Testing, testing. Uno, dos, tres. And of course, this is going to act up. Yeah. How's that? Is that better? How's that? Is that better? Much better. What's up, people? How's everybody doing on this fabulous March evening? Awesome. Wifey said she's doing good. Kay said she's doing good. Static Crispy, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I gotta get caught up on your videos. Bear with me. Uh, Steve Parker, Scott Tro, what's up, buddy? Liver Diecast in the house again. Thanks for tuning in. Robert Oc uh, Ocampo, Sean Coral, Toy Guys, what's up, buddy? He says, I'm here, we can start. Andre Cruz, JR, Diecast Chasers, what's up? Uh, big shout out to Diecast Chasers. So they were in one of the areas that never really got the black hole box set. Um, so I went and found one for them, sent it to them, um, and they sent me this. In return so I got another one <laughs> friggin awesome love it thank you very much for that appreciate that diecast chasers Warner G80 what's up you're very welcome diecast chasers you deserve it good people thank you so much so is anybody finding anything out there that <laughs> should I even ask <laughs> Uh, apparently, my good friend Raul Rodriguez he hit um, he hit a fries today and found some DK set fries. So just a little heads up for those that are looking to catch up with uh, DK. So you might want to start hitting your Kroger's. Uh, Jojo Jojo says depression. <laughs> uh, Sunny Boy Forty Eight dude so happy went right now went to local Target today and they had E case picked up a treasure hunt some other casting you no know, super but can't complain though right on buddy. Excellent, excellent to hear. Yeah, the E case wave was man. It's just like um, reminds me a lot of C case, just really, really light, really, really light at first, and then it starts coming in all these other places. So uh, definitely make sure you start hitting places up. Jay Skipper in the house. What's up, buddy? I'll get your twenty two B out this week. Just bear with me. Uh, Scott Tro found two Matchbox C8s and Devos at Dollar Tree. Nice. In the Easter section, yeah. Uh, when I was hitting up the Dollar Trees, I was seeing those match those Matchbox trays. Um, but every single one I've hit, the C8. Well, I found one C8 and one, but I left it. Um, haven't found any Devos, but I would leave those two. I have enough. He was Hot Wheels. My EK shipped out today. Sweet, buddy. Ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Jay Skipper. Diecast Dungeon, Chris, what's up, buddy? Still got your mystery box sitting right here. We'll do those. We'll do that giveaway soon. A uh, little spoiler alert for those who are um, those who are actually on on the live a little spoiler alert so you know we'll have our giveaways and we might have a couple extra things so make sure you uh make sure you tune in <laughs> static crispy laughing at meatloaf yeah every time mark does that it cracks me up <laughs> there does man that cast there he is right there what's up marky marky mark uh cool fire trucks no luck with working rigs sorry buddy uh 55 gas are in the house what's up 
Uh, Diecast tube F case out in my area. Wow, really? Where are you at? I haven't heard anything about F case until you just said something. So, uh, Graham SJC seventy seven. What's up, buddy? Bear with me. I'll get your stuff out too. No worries. That's man. Diecast says yo. Fifty five Gasper says yo yo. <laughs> Hewitt's Hot Wheels says. Says Mark cracks him up when he says, you're doing it, Peter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Such a goofball. I've heard that for so long that, I mean, it's still funny, but the whole mom, the meatloaf thing. Oh, that stuff cracks me up. He's a cap. <laughs> Andre Cruz. He's a cap. Oh, friggin' hilarious. Love you guys. Uh, Car Lecter, I do not have Instagram yet. Uh, JR, when is your next hunting video? That's a good question. Um, honestly, I haven't been compiling any footage lately. I, like I mentioned, I was giving it a break. Um, yeah, just nothing really going on right now. So, uh, Diecast Tube, yes, the F case has got the new Bentley uh, Continental GT3 in green. Uh, where, where are you at? Where are you, where are you seeing F case, if you don't mind me asking? Why, thank you, Sultan. He says I look horrible, ugly face. Thank you, my friend. Rude. Are you kicking him out? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Man, the trolls, man. Trolls, troll, 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 troll. They are mean, Sultan. That's how some people are in life, baby. That's how some people are in life. That's okay. I take it as a compliment because if you're a dude, I, I would hope that you think that of me. <laughs> Why? Uh, 55 Gasser. Hey, Derek. Went into local Ralph's. Nothing but B-Case. Dis disappointment B-Case Corvette. Your favorite super. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, thanks. No, thanks. Uh, Andre Cruz says, Hewitt's got package today. Thanks so much, bro. You the man. Sweet. Yeah, EJ's, I'm with you. Probably a little of both, trolls and haters. It's all good. Uh, toy guys, yeah, we got Dot, we got Dotson, man, but uh, he's useless right now because he's driving. No, I'm joking. He's, I'm joking. He's got a long commute from work to home. Uh, Colby Wid Widmere, hunting's been dry here in Arizona. Yep, I'm here. I'm here right here with you in Arizona. Uh, Southeast Valley, nothing. Uh, yeah, Static Crispy 2020 Super as J-Case, you are correct. And J-Case is going to be another phenomenal case this year, that's, that's the truth. Uh, Michael Martello, nothing in Maryland, yeah. Jason got the Cybertruck shipped to him. Sweet, man, the remote control one. Awesome. Uh, Osvaldo Trujillo, yep, the Liberty Walk GTR, friggin' sick. Cannot wait. Uh, I'm using my tablet today, guys, for the live stream. Uh, Kevin Kennedy went to uh, Target, Walmart, Kroger today. I was trying hard to get something, but not with nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you, man. Uh, Diecast Tube, is that where you're at? Are you from Hong Kong? Fia, Fia. What's up, buddy? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, 55 Gasser, so the Bugatti Veyron is going to be the Super. I thought it was going to be the Chiron. Me too. Me too. Um, I did see a leak on Ministry of Diecast of a Chiron ID car coming. That looks pretty cool. Um, 
But yeah, I didn't know that the I knew that the Veyron was coming back out this year. I didn't know it was going to be the Super though. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Jorge, I, I agree. The new Bugatti Veyron in mainline is sick. I don't know. I think you're the one that told me about it, but there's a there's a finished product picture of it, and um, I still haven't seen it yet. i got to look it up. Island T.Y. Mijo. Hopefully I'm saying that. Maybe Miho Mijo. Uh, hi, Derek. First time uh, got to see you live. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. appreciate you so much. Yeah, we just chat and have fun and share some laughs and boot the trolls and the haters. Uh, GOGT, what's up, buddy? Uh, Hyperzuma, okay. Uh, Veyron pics are all over Instagram. I'll check that out. No worries. I'll see it eventually. Uh, Graham, Audi R8, Supercharger Hunt, really? Is it going to be the convertible, though? Hmm. Convertible's cool. It's clean, but... Um, Man, I'm hoping Hot Wheels comes out with a, a hardtop one again. Uh, Kobe Woodmere, did you see the new McLaren F1 streetcar mainline coming up? No, I have not. Uh, 55 Gasser, no, I have not seen the R8 Super. Uh, Diecast Tube, Audi R8 Blue and su uh, Super in Blue. Do you have that Super? No, it's upcoming, boo boo. Oh, okay. David Shook, same exact color as the 300Z. Okay. Well, that's a beautiful blue. That means it'll be the same as the R35, too. Yeah, cool fire truck stuck on C and D case here. I'm excited for F case. Yeah, F case is going to be good. There's a new one of these coming out in it. It's like dark forest green. Uh, Fia Vang, R8 Super reminds me of the 918 from last year. Okay, so I must have like a little bit of white pinstripage going on. Uh, Andre Cruz, would you Spectre Flame spray my Explorer, Derek? Uh, if you're talking diecast, yeah, sure, I can do that for you. No worries. Um, if you're talking real life car, that yeah, I'm gonna pass on that job. <laughs> uh, yeah, diecast tube, the ra the raging express. I'm. I'm hoping that's how you say it, but Raging Express and FKC, yeah, that thing is cool. I know my wife is going to want that because she likes, um, she really likes the food trucks and that kind of goes in line with it a little bit. So I know she's going to want that. She's going to like that. I think Kaylani might want it too. I'm not sure. Uh, David Shook, I like the white recolor for the Bentley coming out. No idea what case. Haven't seen that either. Man, I am slacking on the new releases. Time to tune in to Ministry of Diecast again. I'm going to have to binge watch it tonight. Uh, Jorge Delgado, yeah, the new Zamax are sick. Uh, cool fire trucks. Did you get her the Matchbox food truck in Mix 1? She's seen it, but she... I don't think she wanted it. She likes the hot, she likes hot wheels. She doesn't really like Matchbox. She's partial, should I say. Uh, instead of crispy diecast, have you seen the new Zamax? Yes, I have. They are gorgeous. Now, if Walmart will just get them in, that'd be great. All <laughs> right. It's nice to see the leaks, but man. Uh, Beast diecast fantasy land. What's up, buddy? Um, he said just got my seventy-two Beetle at the house. Video to come soon. Sweet, a real life seventy-two, an IRL seventy-two. I like it. Need your help tonight, Mark. Thank you, Static. Appreciate your heads up on that one. Uh, 55, I have not heard. I have not heard renewal of the RLC membership. Still don't know a solid day. There you go, Pia Pia. Pia is now a mod. Uh, Diecast 2 Matchbox Mix 3 is really cool. Sweet. Um, 
There you go, Static, you're one too. Uh, cool fire trucks. Where does Mustang Hunter live? He lives in Arizona with me. Uh, he's all the way on the other side of Phoenix, though. So he's about an hour, if not a little bit more, from me. King Note, what's up, buddy? Long time no talk, stranger. Uh, have you seen the new spring cars yet? Yes, I got a. I grabbed the BMW M2 and the the Z. Those are the only two I grabbed. I didn't grab the other ones. I thought I had them up here, but maybe not. That's like really the only thing I've grabbed. I, I grabbed two M2s and two Zs. That's all I've grabbed in the past week. Man. <laughs> Funny. You grabbed all of them, King Nut. <laughs> you grabbed a whole shipper, a whole shipper worth, or just the set. <laughs> uh, I don't want this on my... There we go. Uh, Jorge Delgado, Easter, or Target has Easter baskets with Hot Wheels in them. Sweet, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, Brayden Nicolo, he asked me if I use Discord. I was on Discord for a short amount of time, but I just, I, I really don't have time to be on it, um, and really participate as much as I want to, so I got off of it. Yeah, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Terrell Pickens, yeah. Must be doing something right. And I got a thumbs down. Sick. I love it. Sean Coral, quarter mile of time, yep. For those 10 minutes or more, I'm free. <laughs> uh, that's true, Andre. Here's another one. Probably it's the same person because they're putting the same stuff. It's all good. Thank you, Static. Appreciate you. So what's good, guys? Um, I wanted to touch base with you and see, um, are you guys liking the custom, the custom videos and the custom live stream and... I mean, what do you guys think? I know it's not the typical hunting thing. Hopefully that's like not the only reason why why you subscribed, but um, I'm having a lot of fun knocking these customs out and I almost sucked down that whole can. Um, so if you're wondering how the ones on the, on the live stream came out the other night, they're pretty much ready to go. So I think this one came out exceptionally well, the P1. Yeah, I think that one came out pretty well. Uh, I definitely want to do some more P1s. I love P1s. One of my favorite castings to collect. Then, of course, the GT3 RS. Is the picture coming through okay? It looks really, really foggy on the pa on the the iPad, but I'm not sure if that's what you guys are seeing. Are you guys seeing an okay picture? Uh, diecast two, keep going on the P1s. Yeah, that's the plan. I like to knock like maybe a five or six of them out if I can, if I got that many. Um, I'm going to do a really nice pink and, um, it's like a darker pink. It's not like straight up like pink, pink. It's like salmon pink. Um, I, it's kind of out of reach or I'll show it to you, but it's the Krylon. The, uh, what is that? Color master. Is that the one I use? You can find it at Walmart and Ace Hardware, but it's really, really, really good paint. Um, but um, I, I want to do a P1 in that, maybe yellow, maybe like Falcon, the Seafoam Green, the Falcon Green. Um, definitely got some more Porsches coming up. I got to get started on my RSR wide body that I want to do. Man, I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are liking... Uh, Graham, <laughs> any video about diecast is good with me. That's what I like to hear. Uh, M Sergeant Hydro toilet paper roll looks great. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny how all those colors come together and I don't know, it looks like black licorice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, um, so let's see a little 
Where's my, my, my pliers? I'm looking for my pliers. My pliers. Those are too big. Um, I did paint, I did uh, cook up some wheels for the P1. Some gold ones. Painted them gold. I think they're going to look really good on that red. And the wifey picked it out. The wifey picked out that scheme. Uh, 55 Gasser says, Hey Derek, I'd like to thank Jay Skipper for the trade on the Canaan Corvette. Yeah, that was, pretty, that was pretty sweet, man. Jay Skipper is a good dude. A good dude. Uh, Diecast Tube, I've got a video on my channel about the F case. Okay, I'll definitely check that out because I'm definitely interested. Is that where you're from? Are you from Hong Kong? Uh, liver Diecast, I absolutely love the hunts. The adrenaline rush is what I get out of it. Whether I'm finding it or watching someone else find it, your customs are sweet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it'll happen again, you know. It'll happen again, but it's just, I'm just kind of taking a break during this lull and just kind of resetting. Just just re resetting. Resetting the focus. Is Hewitt still here? He's been quiet. Uh, another customs note, I did have to borrow wheels from one of these Gulf Set McLaren F1 GTRs. So I'll probably strip one of those and do a custom as well. Uh, cool fire trucks. Does Mustang Hunter hunt the same stores as you know? Uh, him and King, not, they hunt the same stores because they're very close to each other, but they're, they're completely on the other side of town than me. Uh, Nova, Nova Damas, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, Diecast Chaser says, Homie, what's up? Uh, TT Offshore, what's up from Detroit? What is up? I bet it's freaking cold up there. Uh, Robert Ocampo, are you going to open a yellow GT3? I'm glad you asked. But I already did, yeah. So, this one will get... Detail in wheel swap, and I'm super excited for that. Super dupa. Uh, Andre Cruz, Derek, and them got easy on Smash. I wish, brother, man. <laughs> I wish. We really don't, though. It's uh, it, it's tough. It's a lot of people think this is a honey hole, and I don't blame you for thinking that. But man, it's it's tough out here. I'll tell you that. Uh, JR, how do you reconnect the base to the body after you drill it out? So hopefully you guys can see this, but this is, that's how I do it. 95% of the time is I tap and screw. Tap and screw. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I use a, I use a mix of button heads and, um, uh, pan heads, but I primarily use pan heads. I think they come out a lot cleaner. But these are literally only like maybe 20 millimeters in length, maybe. And you can, I, everything I get is from Ace, Ace Hardware. I was actually thinking about putting together some, maybe some, maybe some tap kits. Um, you know, doing the, doing the drill bit, you know, maybe like 10 or 20 screws and a tap, you know, maybe even a T handle. I don't even know. Something I thought about doing though. Whoa. Clint Cranford is on my live stream. Holy cow. What is up, buddy? Uncle Clint. All right. So uh, Clint Cranford is a uh, fellow admin on, our, on my Facebook group, um, on our Facebook group. Uh, he just put together a really awesome, um, a really awesome live auction. Um, and all the proceeds went to uh, Autism Awareness, which is really cool. He, ended up, he sold a bunch of cars, raised like, I can't remember what it was, Clint, like 770, 780 bucks for the, for the cause, which is friggin' sweet. So thank you for doing that. Really appreciate it. Some good people in this community, guys, I'm telling you. The good far outweigh the bad. Yeah, yeah, PS said 779, yep. That's a man diecast, love that. 
because for those that don't know, Dotson Man Diecast does Hot Wheels for Hope, which is a charity, Hot Wheels charity, where he raises money and I think he even donates cars for that too. So he was Hot Wheels says, right on, brother. Nah, the meatloaf. It's coming. <laughs> uh, Jorge, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, Richard Reader, what's up? <laughs> he was, I just want you to know, dude, I was dying on your episode where you actually did that. That was freaking awesome. That was awesome, man. I was cracking up. I was crying. I was like, oh my God, he did it. That's like, it's sweet. Uh, yeah, Clint Cranford said he got a hundred more on top. On top of the auction money, he got another hundred dollars donated. Friggin' awesome, man. Friggin' awesome. So yeah, all of you guys can blame Dotson Man Diecast for <laughs> Ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> Uh, Samuel H. found the new Fast and Furious 5-pack. Sweet, man. I can't wait to see that. Uh, scale enthusiasm. Yes, meatloaf is gross, but <laughs> it's just it's just the saying. <laughs> it's like, Mom, check on the meatloaf. Mom. <laughs> Mom, the meatloaf. That was static crispy. You got to do that too, man. Oh, man. How funny would that be? Static Crispy's doing like his one of his car reviews or something and or going over his finds and he's just like, Mom, the meatloaf. <laughs> Everybody's gonna start doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> David Schick, what's she doing back there? Uh Colby Woodmere says, uh, hey, meatloaf done right is good. Come on now. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Uh, Diecast Tube says, I love G Case. Yeah, G Case is hitting. Uh, I don't know if G Case is hitting Asia yet, but I know it's been hitting um, Australia, which is crazy. Uh, scale Enthusiasm, that's an interesting question. He said, Could you talk a little more about your YouTube analytics sometime and what has and hasn't worked for you? That's, that's awesome. That's an awesome question. I really haven't gotten too much. Uh, I really haven't gotten too much uh, questions or, you know, desire to know any of that. So yeah, I'll be happy to answer. Um, as far as my analytics go, um, it's really cut and dry. I really don't notice that many trends. I don't really pay super close attention to the analytics. I mean, of course, I'll look at views and think, see how things are doing. Um, but as far as trends that I notice, I know I noticed that customs ones they. Definitely don't have the huge hit at first as like hunting videos do. Um, they take time. They take a lot of time. But I mean, got up until three or four months ago, my my the video that I did uh, entitled um, "So You Want to Customize uh, But Don't Know Where to Start?" Watch this that video. Man, up until three or four months ago, that thing was under a thousand views, and now if I remember right, I checked it a couple nights ago and. It's like 6,000 views. So, so customs vids, they, I mean, unless you're doing amazing work like Jakarta Diecast or Tole Garage or somebody like that, and you're just, you know, cranking out some friggin' masterpieces, I mean, you're not going to get those huge numbers with, um, with customs videos. Um, you know, how to's maybe if you, if you come up with a how to that really has not been covered. So, I'm not talking about how to do axles, I'm not talking about how to wheel swap. I'm not talking about how to drill, I'm talking about like really intensive stuff like you know how to do your own 3D stuff, your own decals, um, you know how to do wide bodies maybe. Um, that stuff is going to get views pretty rapidly but if you're doing just simple customs and stuff like I do, um, the views are going to be pretty pretty far and few between if you're just going out, if you just want numbers, if you want numbers now then yeah, it's gonna to be tough. But it's tough either way. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do when you're first getting started in YouTube. Um, it takes a while for stuff to really start rolling in because people need to find you and they need to they need to like you and they need to like your content. And you know, it just it takes time. So whatever you decide to do for, for YouTube, 
um, just be patient. Just stick with it. Don't get down. Um, you know, it's hard not to, you know, it's hard not to be like, man, I, you know, is this going to work or whatever? But don't even look at it like, man, I'm going to get a million, a million subs in a year. Don't even look at it like that. Just do it for fun and do it because you enjoy it and it'll take off from there. Uh, Fordsman in the house. What's up, buddy? Uh, Scan enthusiasm. Thank you. He says, thanks for the answer. Clearly you've been something right. Keep at it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just good luck. I mean, I would never, I would never encourage anybody to start YouTube because Hey, there's money involved because I mean, trust me guys. I mean, you know, even where I'm at, I'm nowhere close to being able to be fully sustainable per month, you know, and I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not worried about it at all because it's just, it's all fun and it's all for the hobby and, you know, for the love of the hobby and to interact with you guys. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, yeah, Kigna, he said my how-to on display cases got a lot of hits. Yes, it did. It was, I mean, I think it was at over 700 views in the first day or something like that. It was crazy. Um, Dividable Tomb, what's up? Long time no see. Uh, hey, just want to stop by and say where's our next hunt in nice customs. Thank you very much. Just taking a little break on hunts right now. It's just, it's completely dry. Um, but yeah. Uh, Derek F, try how to swap, how to swap a super treasure hunt. Well, I did. I mean, I know a lot of you guys seen this car, but I got to bring it out. Um, I did a episode called uh, Reviving a Dead Super. And I did this 918 that my good friend Brian sent. To, he he drills supers like nobody's business. Like he doesn't even care. Uh, but I told him, I was like, hey, any dead supers that you know you drill and have the bodies, send me the bodies. I want the bodies. You know, because he wants the wheels. So this came out really good. Excuse me. Um, Criado wheels. It's got the mainline windshield. It's got the mainline interior, mainline base because on the super it's all gray, um, and the windshield is clear. This windshield on the mainline is tinted, and the base and interior from the mainline are black. So that's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that one. Um, but yeah, that's the only one. That's the only one I've drilled so far. I got a body sitting here. I got a 69 Chevy right here. I got a 69 Chevy here that I can play with that I will at some point. Um, but yeah. Yeah, playing with supers is fun. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dadcast, too. Appreciate it. He says amazing wheels on there. Yeah, I thought it came out really good. Um, and another thing about that 918, too, the front is lowered. It's, it's lowered. Whatever this means, it's lowered. Um, because if you notice, if you look at it, any any 918 spider casting, the front end is higher than the back. It's just, it's gross. Um, but a good way to fix that is just to lower the front end a little bit, and it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And that's one thing I noticed, too, about the 934.5. If you notice the 934.5, it's higher in the front. So when I do my next custom on one of those, excuse me, I dropped my cutoff wheel. Ah. Uh, when I do a custom one of those, I gotta drop the front of that too. Uh, Clint Cranford, most supers are overhyped. That's my opinion. I would much rather have a custom. Well, yeah, they're overhyped when you find them at will. <laughs> Clint can pretty much go out anywhere he wants in Oklahoma. Any day that he wants, he can take three months off and go out the next day and pull supers like nothing. He lives. He must live like in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm not arguing. I just, I've always been fond of supers. I probably always will be. So, um, it's not all I collect, but I do enjoy collecting them. Uh, whale, Ford Raptors custom. King Shucks Chatterjee. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Ford Raptor Custom would be kind of cool. 
I mean, I don't really know what you can do to it besides, you know, maybe, maybe repaint it, put some different wheels on it. Um, you know, real riders, if it's a main line, you could probably build like a kind of a cool, like XO, XO rack. That'd be kind of cool. XO cage or whatever. And, you know, Static Crispy, thanks for the update. I'm back. I went to go put the chicken in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, King, I was just thinking that. I would take, take a Ford Raptor and slam it. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. Uh, Toy Gods, do you use styrene or, or styrene or whatever it's called? If so, how thick? Uh, for what? For what? To answer your question, yes, I use, I use lots of styrene. But for what? For lowering? Uh, Sammy Sanchez, yeah, Tole does great work, man. Uh, Sunny boy, I will start working on that now. I will start working on that immediately. He said, "How are you? Are you or, uh, bleh, when are you going to make a how-to lowering video? I will start on that. I will start on a video for sure, because I think that's the one that got the most votes on that question that I posted a while back. So, B in Rio one seven. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my good friends, uh, Brian and his son, William. Uh, William says he wants you to know gassers are his favorite casting now. Okay, sweet. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to have a custom gasser soon in my, in my lineup. Um, but yeah, this one isn't done yet, but I've showed this one a couple times. But I don't think I showed it with the finished engine. I put stacks on there. I cut the filters off and just put two open stacks. But that's not the final base and wheels. It's just kind of a mock-up for the time being, but... Thing came out really good. This is for um, making this for somebody. I don't want to say his name in case he's watching, um, but I'm going to give that to him, and then I will make sure I make um, a gasser for William. If he loves gassers, you got it. Keep the little man happy. Uh, James Lanier, are you asking my favorite color? Uh, if you're asking my favorite color, it's red. I love red. Red's my favorite. Red. I love, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Red first and foremost, and then I like um, I like red, black, and white in combo. So, um, like any con color combination of it, I'm, some about those colors just mixing together, I absolutely love. But if you're talking like one solid color, my favorite color is red. Uh, yes, diecast tube. I'm glad you mentioned that. Jakarta made a really cool custom on a Robo Race Robo car and made it into a green Lamborghini concept car. Uh, I believe that car that he made. Um, I believe that's the Lamborghini Ascenza SCV20, which is like one of my favorite cars on the planet. So. I might have to. I might have to put, give my take on it. I'm not sure. Actually, no, it wasn't. I, it was definitely different. But I've been thinking about trying to make one, trying to make a Lamborghini Ascenza SCV20. Man, how cool would that be if they came out with a casting like that? I bet you Tarmac is going to come out with one for sure. Yeah, Jacquard is a beast. He's the best. He is the best. James Lanier. He is the best. You ain't never lying. I first got into diecast and he was the first person I found. He was like the first person I found as far as customs. And I was like, oh my God, you can really do all that stuff with customs? I was just, I was blown away. Uh, diecast photographer, Lambo will be epic. Yeah, it'd be cool. Um, I've actually been contemplating doing a wide body Aventador, like an L, like a LB wide body Aventador. Because I've already done a, I've already done a wide body Huracan, so and plus they're they're coming out with the casting anyway, so maybe I'll do a wide body Lamborghini Aventador. I kind of want to play with this Venania that's sitting in front of me. Um, yeah, I got a couple of super like super trophies are my favorite because again GT3 car, um, but I'm actually gonna base swap these. I'm gonna go all black on this one, all yellow on this one, so. And correct me if I'm right, somebody answered this before. This is a mystery model. This is a mystery model Super Trofeo, am I correct? Because I definitely want a couple more of these. And this is the only one I got. It's the only one I got, but I definitely want more. 
But yeah, if that's the mystery model Super Trofeo, I want... I need to find some. I gotta find some. Dylan Koch, thank you. He said yes. Nick Ardery, yes. Thank you. Uh, 55 Gasser, that's coming. That's coming. He said, how about a Bugatti Chiron Custom? Yes, that is coming. Um... I actually have one that up here that I did. I can't reach it with the mic, but it's just blue and it has the it has the white Volk T37s from the Hot Wheels silhouettes, the white ones. Uh, mm -hmm. The Skyline is red, the R30. Um, but I just I took those wheels on off and I put it on there. It's like one of my first customs. It's like one of the first five, and I'm actually going to give it to somebody. So um, I definitely been planning more. I got a black one down here in the case. Um, I would say, I'll give you a spoiler alert here. Hold on. I put this in the case a long time ago and I, I just put wheels on it, but I might as well pull it out. It's very simple, but my plan, so just really simple, really simple wheel swap. I just, I wheel swapped it and I put it in the case, called it good. Uh, but my plan with this was I was going to do, basically I was going to call it, I was going to call it a Black Widow, like a Black Widow Bugatti or Black Widow Chiron or something. But I was going to do all black. I was going to do red accents. And I was going to do kind of like a pure, um, like a pure sport spoiler. Or what's that other, what's that other Bugatti Chiron? Um, that really outrageous concept Bugatti Chiron. It's not the pure sport. It's, um. It's like Vision. I think it's called the Vision, but it's just got it's got a crazy lip. It's got crazy canards. It's got a friggin' ridiculous spoiler on it. But I was gonna do all that on this. So thank you guys because you guys made me pull this back out of the case. I can put it put it in the boneyard and get it ready. But yeah, I'm gonna make Kehlani, um a custom Chiron. I think she wants a red one like this. So I might do one of those. But we'll see. But yeah, I have I had a really crazy plan uh, cut out for for a Chiron, so stay tuned. Uh, Deck ST Bugatti Chiron 300 Plus. I'm not sure if that's the one. I thought it was called the Vision. Uh, Graham, okay, will do. He said, check your text for a custom. Okay, I will. I'm using my phone for filming right now, so it doesn't cut off at an hour like the friggin' GoPro does. Uh, toy guys, so we need to get Dotson Man to race Mustang Hunter. Who boy, I don't know about that. With what? Uh, Soul Harmonics Bunker Recordings. What's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Yeah, uh, Burn BMX 12 Division GT, the Bugatti Vision oh, GT. Is the Bugatti Super gonna be a Chiron? Apparently, it's gonna be a Veyron. No. I know. I was excited for a Chiron too, but you know what? A Veyron's gonna be cool too. No. Well, well, wait until you get your first Veyron. I don't want a Veyron. I want a I'm actually talking to somebody about trading for a Veyron for you. I don't want a Veyron. It's a Bugatti, though. No. Veyron. Don't be like that. Ah. Not nice. Uh, old Man Diecast, I would race both of them. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would want anything to do with Mark's GTR. That thing is insane. So, uh, Jay Skipper, what's up, buddy? You've been quiet tonight. He says, "How's it going? It's going good. How about you, man?" Uh, Colby Wid Widmere, uh, what one are you going to trade for? I think I'm supposed to do the yellow one, the yellow Veyron. Um, I was going to trade like. An ID car or two, and a couple, I think a couple of main lines, if I remember right, for it. So, <laughs> yeah, right, King Nut. Daddy, I want a Chiron. Okay, yeah, good first car for you. Yeah, cheap, good on gas. <laughs> Jay Skipper. 
He said, good, Brosario Dawson, doing good. <laughs> we busted out the bro thing. Uh, like, uh, what was the email? I called him Teddy Brosevel. He called, what'd you call me? What'd you call me, Jay Skipper? That was pretty funny. Yeah, diecast tube. I can't wait. Because the, yeah, I don't know if you guys knew, but the, the Veyron that's coming is, it's a recast. It's a retool. So um, it's going to be much better. It's just going to be like the 8.6. You know, everybody's like, oh, that's the same casting, but it's really not. It's, if you hold that up next to an old 8.6 eight, um, eight, or true, you know, or whatever you want to call it, um, they're totally different. The other one was just totally misproportioned, too big. Um, the one that came out on Boulevard in the main line. Excellent. Proportions are so good. Yeah, Jay Skipper, Hulk Brogan. <laughs> oh, <that's> so funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I got to get caught up on, man, I used to know that Geico commercial by heart, man. That was the, that's the best Geico commercial ever, the two guys that are working out calling each other different bro terms. Yeah, I agree, Static. Yeah, the old 8.6 looks tuned and the new one looks awesome. Yeah, the new one is just, yeah. <laughs> David Schick, Bros of Giebel's. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the squirrel one's good too, old man. <laughs> old man deck has. Uh, oh yeah, Burn BMX. What's your favorite custom you've done? I got, man. I, uh, I don't know. I made some really nice ones for my good friend Clint. I sold. I sent them uh, to him a long time ago. Um. Man, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. This one's pretty high up there. I really like that one, even though it's really simple just besides the paint. I really, really like that one. I really, really love the RWB one. Um, I mean, I don't know. Probably my most intense custom, I guess, ever was probably be my favorite because... I invested so much friggin' time into this thing, it was ridiculous. So, there it is, there's the, the wide body Huracan that I, I did a long time ago. Yeah, this one came out really, really good, I was really happy with this one. And if you can't see the wheels, it's got the disc and brake calipers in there. I made the spoiler. Did the wide body, did the lip, did all that stuff. That was a lot of work. That's a metal base on there too that I had to chop out. So that one's definitely up there, if not if not the one. But uh, I've done a lot of gassers that I like. Um, the old 55, the old green one that was on my old intro, I really, really liked that one. I really enjoyed that one. I gave that one to Clint. Um, yeah, there's a lot, man. There's a lot. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to venture and say that my new favorite will be this Porsche RSR whenever I get it done. So I got to, I got to, I got to get to work on it. It's going to be a beast. Uh, Deck S2, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, 55 Gasser. Thank you. Dylan Koch, I need that. <laughs> James Gale, yay. Thank you, Diecast, too. Appreciate it. Yeah, David Shook, I'm a big fan of the swan neck spoilers, and those are the ones where they go up and over and the spoiler hangs down. Uh, just like the Bentley. The Bentley the Bentley has a factory, a factory swan neck. Or just, it goes up and over in the wing hangs down from it. I love those. Those are like my faves. Dylan Koch, yeah, I love customs too, man. <laughs> They're so addicting. They're just ridiculous. Uh, Burn BMX 12, yeah, I'll be making more custom videos. Yeah, definitely. Um... Probably next one's going to be on how to lower, just the different methods I do for lowering. Um, axle stack method, styrene method. Um, those are the primary ones I do. So I'll do those. 
I'll do those. That'll be the that'll be the next video probably. So, Braden Har, what's up? He just hopped on. What is going on, buddy? Uh, David shook it has an actual functional purpose that I read about once and didn't understand. Hmm. I'd be interested. I mean, I'm I'm assuming it's functional because I mean. Um, you know, Porsche race team, they use it on the RS, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the RSRs and the GT3 Rs. They have swan necks. Um, I think the new GT3 RS is going to have a swan neck. I mean, they wouldn't put it on there just for looks. It's got to do something. I think it lowers the center of gravity maybe a little bit. I think that's part of it. Um, yeah. Oh, Static Crispy, have you seen the new C8R recolor? It's in gray. Sweet. I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be cool. Uh, Jay Skipper, tip for getting old paint off castings with stubborn nooks and crannies, or do I need to leave the paint, leave in paint strip for longer? Yeah, so that's part of the reason why I'd, I'd use the dunk method. I just throw it in an old can. Um, you can check the video out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I do that and I usually leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes just to be safe. And nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, it just, just slides off, man. It's, it's gross, but cool. <laughs> uh, Clint Cranford. Thank you, buddy. He said, I have a Monte Carlo and a Ford Vicky custom from Derek that are insane. Uh, that Ford Vicky was definitely one of my favorites to do. That thing was really, really cool. That was a lot of work, but man, that thing was fun. That thing was fun. Yeah, old man diecast, you can use a dental pick and scrape it off. Um, Hyperzuma, do you use aircraft paint remover or another brand? Yes, I use Rust-Oleum aircraft uh, re paint remover. You pick it up at AutoZone, you can pick up like a little, I don't know if it's a quart or whatever, but it's like 16 or 18 bucks. That's the best stuff I've found to use, and it's thick as snot, especially when it's cold outside, but man, it works. It works good. And you can reuse it too. If you find if you find a way to cover it like me, I'll dump it in an old soup can and then I'll take another soup can and I'll just stick it on top and it kind of creates a good enough seal for it. So makes it last longer. You can reuse it then. Uh, James Gilly, take care. He says, phone is dying. I'll catch the next vid. Uh, have a good night, everybody. That's what he says. Uh, thanks for tuning in, James. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, yeah, Graham says, C8 is a reverse of the one now yellow to gray then yellow okay sweet yeah so the gray here that'll be the main color of the car like a silver or a gray and then that'll be yellow nice that's gonna look good i'm actually i'm gonna do a custom one of these two guys definitely i'm probably gonna drill out those exhaust that exhaust and put real exhaust in and i'm gonna see if i can lower one a little bit And do all the grill work, the fender work. Might even Spectre Flame one. Don't even know. I need some more decals, that's for sure, though, man. Uh, Static, thank you. Yeah, I want to do a custom of every GT3 car that's out. So, Bentley Continental GT3, or not the not the NSX, not the uh, GT3 RS, uh, C8R. I really love how they're, they're they're cranking out these these GT3 cars, man. I love it. I love it. I hope they keep coming with them. Uh, 55 Gaster, call me crazy. I am loving the Dodge Rampage coming out with the ATV in back of the bed. Cool. I know my friend Clint would be into that, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Graham says he's doing a Mark IV now. Sweet. Sweet, yeah. I got one up here that I need to I need to mess around with for sure. Old man Dadcast says Andre Cruz got the package today. Opening vid tomorrow. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, the diecast photographer, Hot Wheels should make a C8. Yeah, they should make a standard one too, but I re I really love the GT3 one, man. That thing is sick. C8R. Whatever you want to call it, it's a GT car. But yeah. I'm a huge fan of GT cars. I love them. Yes, sir. Clint Cranford, Dodge Rampage. Yep.
Benji Rivera can't wait. Sweet. Jay Skipper's out for tonight. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, I think wagons are cool. Old man Dad Cassie said sounds corny and old, but I think I need more wagons, yo. Yeah, let's go. Wagons are cool, man. Love Nova wagons. I like the Nomad if you consider that a wagon. Um, yeah, tons of good stuff out there. <laughs> Osvaldo Trujillo. I said forget about it, cuh. <laughs> Uh, toy guys, do you ever lift any customs? Um, I played with it a little bit, but it's not really my thing. I mean, I'm I'm all about speed and low, and I mean, I'm always up to try it, but um, it's just not really my thing. I'm not really into. I don't really mess with trucks too much. I mean, I will definitely '62 Chevys because they're slammed on the ground, and I love them. Um, very very cool. I love them. Oh, I did get a random package from Maz, M-A-Z-Z, and it was just a random package, and uh, there's 562s in there, the 53rd anniversaries. So I didn't really, I didn't really need them. I already got my five, but got a couple more, I guess, for customs. Um, if anybody needs one, you know, hit me up, um, or maybe I'll just include a couple in a giveaway. So. But yeah, that was very kind. Uh, Old Man Dadcast, I haven't gotten the first one. Uh, which one? Uh, Dadcast Photographer, yes, I do giveaways. I got two that are due, and I got a third one coming up at 3500 Nismo, what is up? Uh, Static Crispy, yeah, he said, now that, now that I think, if you can make the truck, it looks like it has an old Calioline if you lower the back, yeah. <laughs> I don't get what's up with that. I really don't understand the Calioline, but it's cool, I suppose. I could always do that to like a, to a square body or something, I guess. Uh, Graham, what's up with the 53rd sets? Yeah, um... They're just hanging in Safeways now, and I haven't seen a 62 in weeks. So, if you need one, Graham, hit me up. Let me know. I'll toss it in your box for you. Uh, Nismo, I see you finally got out of Dotson Man's room. Yeah, I finally woke up and pulled the mouse trap off my foot, and I'm here now. I'm here. My foot's a little sore. I don't know why, though. Uh, Hyperzuma, wow, never got the 53 set there. It's going to pop up eventually, man. It'll pop up. I've, e I've even started seeing those roll into O'Reilly's like little by little, too. Uh, Sean Coral, do you want a Porsche 356 Outlaw? I do, if you're talking about the new one coming up, the Golf one. Uh, Hyperzuma, I think you're right, too, because that's what happened with the Pearl Chromes. He said, I'm thinking big Kroger shippers, yep. I'm thinking a bunch of main lines, a bunch of real riders, a bunch of transports, and 53s. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Jorge Delgado. Okay, CVS is starting to get. CVS is starting to get the 53rd set. Cool. Dylan Koch says he's got to head out. Take care, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Nismo, did you get fast wagons? I haven't even seen them yet. Haven't even seen them yet. I really want that Avant, though, for sure. Uh, Diecast Tube, do you like the new Honda, the Civic Type R Super and KKs? Yes. Yes, that thing is fire. I love it. Andre Cruz, is that coffee? It's always coffee, brother. It's my ASMR producer. <laughs> I try to swallow it as as uh, as quietly as I can, but it never works out that way. 
it sounded wrong, but uh, be in real seventeen. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you. We got to connect again soon. Uh, give me a little time. I'll cook together a gasser for William. Hopefully, he's not watching to keep it a surprise. Uh, toy guys, they discontinued the Z fifty, huh? That's too bad. David Shook, I thought it was starting fluid this whole time. Well, yeah, that's my version of starting fluid. <laughs> I've been up since 7 this morning, I think. I did training for a new job for eight, like 9 hours, I think. 9 hours today. I got to do it all over again tomorrow, So, but I'm super excited. Finally, finally back in the working, the working world, finally. Uh, Yash Didia, what's your favorite matchbox? I'd have to say the Devo, the Bugatti Devo. It's my favorite one. Arnold Damien, it is blinker fluid. Yes, correct. <laughs> uh, Static Crispy, you got any EF Civics? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Congrats, Adam N. He said he found the dot, the... Dodge Demon Super the other day. Sweet. Yeah, I agree, Colby. <laughs> I've had quite a layoff period, so it'll be nice to get back on... Get back to work. Sammy Sanchez, do you like the new team transports? I do. I love it. I think we got two fantastic mixes coming up. That R32 Advan I'm really excited about. Um, I'm most excited for that Lancia though. I really want that Lancia. That Golf Lancia is sick. I'm definitely excited for that. The, of course, the gas is cool. Uh, thank you, Adam, man. Appreciate it, buddy. I know, Andre. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I kind of never been on vacation like this whole time that I haven't been working anyway, so. Sammy, Sammy Sanchez got their R32 today. Sweet, man. Congrats. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, Osvaldo Trujillo custom painted an R34 GTR that's actually in the plan. I'm going to do... This is an R33, but I'm going to do that Midnight Purple. I'm going to do that midnight purple, just like that one, I think. So, but I'll put different wheels on it. I mean, it's kind of tough because we have the two most iconic R34 colors in RLC cars already. We got Bayside Blue and Midnight Purple. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll just do a red one because I, I forget. I love this red. I love this metal cast red. It's so good. Um, I gotta order that orange though. I'm so excited that they came out with uh, the dupe color metal cast orange. I'm really excited for that. Uh, Nismo just bought three short card 510s from Japan. Sweet man, congratulations. Uh, Kobe Wid Widmere got to make a white R32. And eh, I don't know about that because we got that box set coming up. So. Uh, Static Crispy, do you think Hot Wheels is going to make an E46 mainline? I've only seen it in premium. Um, maybe eventually. Eventually. Because I think they like to flip-flop certain castings because the 934.5 Porsche was a mainline forever and it just finally became it finally became this gorgeous gal, this gorgeous premium this past year. Um, so yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't do that with the E46. And Demon. I mean, the Demon's been out for a couple of years. They finally made a premium. So, but my point is, is that they eventually go backwards at, on some castings, I think, so. <laughs> Kobe Woodmere, I forgot to <laughs> shoot. I forgot about that, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming, man. It's going to be a good box set. I like it. A lot of people don't like it because it's all white. I don't care. I think it's a, it's a great way to show, like, the lineage of... The lineage, the evolution of the 
of the GTR through the years. I think it's really cool. Uh, 55 Gas, do you have any Johnny Lightnings in your collection? I got one sitting over right here. It's the EK, the EK Civic hatch. Um, but my wife has one or two, and Kehlani has one or two as well. Uh, Robert Ocampo, you are not lying, brother. He says, I hope Hot Wheels makes the brand new 2021 Porsche, Porsche GT3. Yeah, the, the 992. That would be awesome. Um, I want to see that. And I want to see this go to a premium. I want to see a GT3 RS premium. Much want. Much want. Much want. You guys know how I feel about GT3s. Uh, instead of crispy, yeah, the GTR box set is going to be your first. Yeah, it's going to be a good first, that's for sure. Uh, David Shook, I think so. I think Dotson Man Diecast cried when he found out that the R35 wasn't coming in the box set. <laughs> I'd like to see an R35 GTR premium. That'd be cool, too. Uh, Diecast Photographer, he's got Tanner Fox GT3 RS. Sweet. Yeah, I got a couple of those. This is actually a detampoed one. So, just de detampoed, lowered, wheel swap, detail. I really like this one, because it's just like Stealth black. I love it. That black looks fantastic by itself, but the main line itself looks great, too. Uh, Diecast, uh, Diecast Photographer, do you have Pagani? Yeah, I got lots of Paganis. I recently did. Well, not recently, but maybe about a month ago, I did this swap. That's just the... This is the ID Pagani Wyra with the metal body. It's got the gumball windshield, gumball interior, and then monoblock wheels. This is one of my favorites. I think this one came out so good. I really love it. Uh, Static Crispy, love your green GT3 RS in the back case there from your old intro. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, bud. I need to do another one of those because I want to... I have one right here. But uh, I need to do another one so I can put the um, put the Ford the Ford GT wheels from Boulevard on there because they have that has that stripe that's like perfect. It's like perfect, perfectly matching stripe. Love it. Love it. Stay it crispy. It's sweet. Uh, Uno de la Rama. Where'd you get your black display case? I think you got it from Amazon, I think. It's just a it's just a regular Mattel display case with the that one came with the the gasser. The gasser display car. Uh Robert Ocampo, besides the rubber wheels, what's different between a premium and a mainline? Um so higher quality paint and more clear over everything on the bodies. And then metal base. That's the difference. Yeah, if you hold this up next to a Jags, it's like no. You can you can see and feel the difference in the paint quality right off the bat. So I think they double up on the clear on these ones. That's why the tampos are so hard to take off of premiums, is because you got to go through the clear coat too. Will Frederick Diecast, better late than never. Hey, Derek, good to see you. Good to see you too, Will. No worries. Everybody has lives, man. Everybody's got stuff to do. No worries. <laughs> Mom! The meatloaf! <laughs> oh, Torben. Oh, man. You are speaking my language. He says they need a Suzuki uh, <laughs> cappuccino casting. Yes. Hopefully I said that right. Cappuccino? I never knew how to pronounce that, but yeah, that would be sweet. Like, what if Hot Wheels got... Because Hot Wheels made... You know, Hot Wheels is, like, really starting to get into Lancia, uh, which is great if you really love, like, hill climb and rally heritage, like I do. Uh, but yeah, what if they came out with like more Suzuki stuff? Uh, Skoda? What if they came out with Skoda stuff? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, Peugeot. You know, they had a Peugeot casting in... Uh, what was that? 
Can't remember if it was track day. They had a blue Peugeot back in the day. I haven't seen that casting in years. That was cool. That was a cool casting. Looks like Sunny Boy 48 is out. He says, bye all. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Appreciate you always. Yeah, Deadcast Dude Skoda would be sweet. Yeah, David Shook. Yeah, it was a it was a Reno, I think. Yeah, um, it wasn't a Peugeot. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay, don't yell at me. Caesar Acosta. Uh, hello, I'm late, but I'm here. What's up, buddy? Uh, Sean Coral, have you found the Eurofast Fast and Furious premium set. I got the Lamborghini Aventador in that set. Yeah. Yeah. Found all that quite a while ago. Um, got some E46s. Got some McLarens. The 720S. Um, yeah. Got that whole set. That set is fantastic. The diecast photographer. Yes. I watch Fast and Furious. Ted Krieger. What's up, buddy? Uh, Nismo, absolutely. I will definitely get this, the Chiron ID if I can find it. Uh, 55 gas or maybe a Bronco 2 from the 80s. What do you think Derek Mattel should make one of those Matchbox did in the 80s? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, Clint, uh, Clint Cranford's checking out. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Appreciate you. Love you, man. Have a good night. Probably wrap it up in a couple of minutes, guys. Uh, Static Crispy, yeah, Factory 500 is two bucks for some reason, but it's still not premium. Premiums come with Road Riders and Factory 500 has plastic wheels, yeah. And another thing I noticed too on this GT3 RS, I don't know if you guys will see it on cam, but look at the bottom of the spoiler. That's pretty bad. It's like maybe just a light layer of paint under the spoiler that just didn't get it at all. Um, it's kind of a deal with GT3 RSs in general. Like even these these two these two red ones these two older ones, they have a little bit, but man, this one is just that one is bad. There's like nothing under there almost. It's hard to tell, but man, disappointing. Um, but I'm not complaining. I love that car. I love it. Uh, Jorge Delgado, yeah, I saw the new Matchbox Moon Ice truck. Um, my my friend uh, Mustang Hunter had found that for King Nut Diecast, and uh, King Nut Diecast showcased that on his last video. It was pretty sweet looking. I like it. Nismo, I know. He said, you need to show us your Porsche collecting. I know, I'll, I will. One of these days, one of these days, I'll bring the tote out here, show them all to you guys. Um, I'm working on a display case down here that will be filled with nothing but Porsches. So... Um, all the ones in here probably get pulled out and put in there. And then that way I can put more stuff in here. So we'll see. I'm working on it, guys. I promise. Uh, Ying Vang, have you tried two different color metal casts on the same car? Um, this isn't this isn't two different colors of metal cast, but I'll show you what I did to the 62. I just, I polished this one and taped off and then did the metal cast red on it. I did the roof too. I left the sides polished, but that's kind of what I did. I, I would like to do a, a two-tone red one of these days, but I thought that came out pretty good. I like it. I like it. I love my love my 62s. I'm not a big truck collector, but man, I love 62s. Sweet. Torby Mirsch, four more, and I'll have all 18 FBRX7 varieties. Nice, man. That's sick. Yeah, I'm working on trying to get all Porsche 911 GT3 RS castings.
<laughs> Robert Ocampo, hey, before you end this live stream, one more time. <laughs> Mom, the meatloaf! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ying Vang did two layers yellow and then two red on top. That sounds cool. I would like to see that. Hewitt's is taking off. Have a good night, buddy. Looking forward to seeing your next episodes. Peace. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Take care. Uh, Deckhouse photographer, that's my daughter. Uh, Nismo, are you in Chandler or Mesa? I'm in Chandler. I mean, they're close by. Chandler and Mesa are pretty close, but I'm in, I'm in Chandler. Uh, looks like Graham's checking out too. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wrap up this live stream. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't really have that much to show you guys this episode, but I'm going to get cracking and finish up some customs, uh, tonight. And then as mentioned, I got training, um, I got training tomorrow and, um, we'll see what I can do Friday. Meatloaf's done. Meatloaf's done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll hop back on on Saturday. See if I can get the, get the, uh, giveaway ready for saturday because i think we're ready and maybe i'll do the 3500 a little early because i mean we're pretty close so um we'll do the 3500 subscriber giveaway soon so stay tuned for that and sorry guys i'm a little wiped out from today man i was looking at the computer all day i'm just like seeing cross-eyed and came and see straight so but thank you all for tuning in appreciate you guys love you guys i promise we'll get some more hunting videos in pretty soon um, just give me a little bit of time, but right now I'm just going to crank out customs for a little bit. Um, and we'll see what we cook up in the laboratory in the customization station. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Peace. Thank you guys. The meatloaf.